All right, cool. Let's uh, let's create a cool little survey here. So what I did is I went ahead and started and drew in the areas that our survey could get traffic from: our blog, our Twitter account, Facebook, whatever kind of interactions we have. So I to create this, all I did was I'm in the campaign section uh, right here inside marketing campaign builder. That's all I did, and then I just clicked add campaign. Since I've already created it, let's just click on it. And real quick, I'll just build out the skeleton and the layout. So the goal of this campaign initially is to get people to fill out a survey. So goals are right here. And these icons just kind of help give you a visual representation. They don't really necessarily mean that it's going to be just only for newsletters. So we'll just change the name to survey. The part that matters is this icon here which we're building a web form survey. So as you can see, it has a little icon selected. There's a bunch of other different type of methods you can use, but instead we're just going to use this one. So we'll go ahead and click Save, and then we'll make the connection so we can see what's happening and see how it's all supposed to work. After we have the survey, we basically want our um, customers to go down one of two pathways, and we'll create two different sequences here. Let's kind of make these a little bit more organized looking. And we'll connect them. This will create a decision point. And the decision is going to be whether they are happy or unhappy. Easy enough, right? Now, just kind of build up on this, let's, let's talk about the power of what we can do to follow up with them. If they're unhappy, you probably want to find out why they're unhappy and try and fix the situation. So the next goal after that would probably be give them a phone call. I mean, I know I would want to find out, hey man, why are you unhappy? Let's let's try and resolve it. So the icon we use on this one is a note applied. A note basically will show the um, user in Infusionsoft, hey, give this person a call because they're not happy. Um, we'll go ahead and build that a little bit later. And then if they are happy, we probably want to see if we can get a testimonial from them. So we'll just go ahead and use this same icon again. We'll make the connection and we'll change this to testimonial. Just like so. So now we have a sequence where we get a cert we f have our customers fill out a survey. They tell us if they're happy or not. And then uh, we get testimonials from happy ones and we give a phone call to the ones who are unhappy. So let's go ahead and start with the survey and build it out real quick. With here, easiest way to ask questions on a survey without taking up your custom fields is to use radio buttons. So we'll just create one here and just say, are you happy? And we'll say yes or no. And we'll save it. And then we'll just add another one just for show. And this one we can be something like test question. And it can be yes, no, and then let's say we want to add a third one, sort of, whatever, whatever it may be, and we'll just click on save. The cool thing about radio buttons is it makes it easy for the customer or the prospect to fill it out, and they just check a box. If you give them a, f a field to f fill out, then they have a hard time, like, okay, I have to take time and think about what I'm going to say or what I'm going to write. The checkboxes and the radio buttons make it real easy, plus you don't have to worry about taking up custom fields in Infusionsoft. Just kind of pretty it up a little bit. Let's throw a divider here on top of that one, and then put one in between the two questions, because it kind of puts those bullet points together, and then we'll just put one below so they're all grouped together, and then we'll just adjust the layout real quick. And I like to s have the label positions. See how the label positions are all on the left, and then the, the questions are lined up that way. So let's just make them above. Let me set it above. There we go. So that way it kind of looks a little bit more uniform and easy to comprehend. And we'll just make the fields a little bit wider. So we'll add that in there. So now this is wider and this is wider. All right, cool. So the, the basic survey is built. We go to the thank you page. Make sure you write something good on the thank you page. Don't just be boring and say, thanks for filling out our form. Um, Bob, 
try and try and make it a static. They took time to give you feedback. And as you know, you are busy, they are busy. And for taking the time to actually give you feedback, that's a really big deal because now you know whether they're happy or they're not happy. And you know where they're at depending on all the questions you ask. This is a lot of information that you're getting from this. So thank them for that. Really, really thank them for that. We'll just go ahead and mark this as ready up here at the top. And then click on back to campaign. So we have back to campaign. We have our decision. So the reason why I label them happy and unhappy first is because when you go to the decision icon, which is this little black diamond, it easily tells you which way they're going to go. So if they're happy, the options are going to be form submission. So we are using a form. So that's why I'm selecting that. We're going to use an option. The option that we're selecting is, are you happy? Remember, we filled that out. So I say yes and we'll say that this is selected. So whenever somebody selects are you happy and they answer yes, then they're going to go in the happy sequence. Make sense? If they are unhappy, then we will go to form submission and we'll select are you happy? No. And this is selected. And you can also add other criteria as well just by clicking the little plus icon and the minus icon deletes them and this will give you an or statement so if they select are you happy no or they select test question yes I'll just make them no that's selected then alright we need to put them in the unhappy category easy enough that's the way the decisions are built and right now they only build off of um, those radio buttons or off of tags so keep that in mind currently um, as the new updates roll out there'll be more features to build these out and make them even better um, so with unhappy sequence uh, probably a good idea would be to throw in a tag tag them hey they're unhappy it's a good idea another one would be send them an email and the email would be a follow-up hey we would love to contact you and um, that email would just try and prompt that communication that somebody's probably going to give you a call. So we're going to mark that one ready as well. Go back to campaign. As you notice, when they're marked ready, they turn blue. But you have to go in and individually set up each email. And then the call for the person who owns that record will say it is a call. This is a note template. The note is to call somebody. Call this guy, this person. We'll just say they are unhappy. So call them. Perfect. And we'll just say it's from me. And then the person it's going to be assigned to to notify would be me. You can pick anybody in your Infusionsoft application and notify them that, hey, this is the note that you need to do. Whenever they first log into Infusionsoft, they'll have a notification people you need to call. Um, on that day whenever it's however you set that up and if they're happy we'll do basically the same thing where we tag them as happy customers and then send them an email that will have a link in it that will go to a form that will ask them for a testimonial so it's pretty basic pretty understand uh, pretty simple to understand it's just taking a instead of just having a normal survey and just getting the data why not utilize that data to the maximum and follow up with people who are happy and get testimonials from them. And if they're not happy, then give them a call and see what's wrong and see what you can do to fix it. Um, so that's basically the way the surveys work. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.